Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, and I'd like to welcome you once again to another episode of Doctor to Doctor. And today, we're going to talk about a condition that impacts so many people. It's a lung issue, and lung issues can start from very early in life with children having asthma and breathing problems. And there are many reasons for individuals to have asthma today and breathing problems. And I want to touch on a few that maybe you've not heard of before. You know, I've been practicing as a drugless doctor since 1978 and I've seen a variety of conditions over my lifetime. But I want you to know that stress has a lot to do with breathing problems. You can say, stress, Dr. Bob? Yes. I'm going to keep this very simple for you. There are glands on top of your kidneys called the adrenal glands. You may have heard that term before, and you could do a search after we're done speaking with you today. The adrenal glands make natural cortisone. Cortisone helps take away inflammation in the body. So I'm going to ask you a question, or for some of you that have a breathing issue. Does bright light bother your eyes? If you know that you have to always wear sunglasses because bright light bothers your eyes, that's a body signal to me that your adrenal gland is under stress. If your adrenal gland is under stress, it cannot make natural cortisone to take away inflammation. Well, Dr. Bob, what causes stress in the adrenal glands? Well, one item happens to be sugar. Sugar itself puts a demand on the adrenal glands to create hormones to break the sugar down. So while your adrenal glands are busy making hormones to help support the breakdown of sugar, your adrenal glands really are not able to make the hormones to take away inflammation. These are sponges. These are sponges you might use to wash your car or any part of your um, household. Well, the sponges are what your lung is like. Your lungs are like two sponges which is very fascinating. I'm going to give you a whole new concept right now what's going on. If you notice that your posture is going forward or compressed, your lungs are being compressed. That means posture has to do with breathing or vital capacity. In our practice, we use a tool called the spirometer. We have individuals that we can tell them how old their lungs are by doing a test with a spirometer, and I'd encourage you to have that done. So what's going on today is that so many people, from young kids to aging adults, are always looking down, and they're with their tools, their smartphones, which always aren't so smart, and they're using electronic toys and devices. Well, I have been places where I've seen children be like this, and so if you're like this, that impairs the posture. So I have had patients come into my office very upset because someone in their family was diagnosed with COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also to tell me that their mom or their grandma just shrunk four or five inches. So the, my light went off in my brain thinking, what do we do? So I'm going to encourage you, all of you watching me anywhere in the world right now, to get a large ball, a 55 centimeter ball, fill it with air, and start laying back on that ball. Because see, that's going to help pull your posture back. When you want to stand up tall and pull your head back, because that's going to let your lungs expand as much as they can. Because if your lungs can't expand because you're being compressed because of poor posture, you're going to have a breathing challenge. Now, what this is, is this is a miniature version of an electronic air cleaner. Now, there are little plates in this electronic air cleaner. And what I want to pass on to you is be aware of what candles you are using as a fragrance in your household. Because in the directions for this tool, they suggest not to burn candles in the room with this device being on because the wax will coat the plates and impair the function of the unit. Well, see, your lungs are no different than any other air cleaner. So if you are going to burn a scented candle, I would burn it outside or put it in a room that it's well ventilated because what's going to happen to you is that those chemicals have to go somewhere. And if you are breathing those chemicals in, that's going to impair function. 
All the suggestions I'd like to make to you is if you are doing any kind of weed spraying, any kind of vapor spraying outside, or if you're a painter or, or you sand, I would suggest that you get a mask. Because see, whatever you breathe inside of your body impairs function or has the potential to. So I know, and I mentioned to you, that sugar can be an issue for some of you. This might be news to some of you, but I have learned over time that citrus could be an issue for some individuals having a breathing problem. Now, I'm not telling anybody to stop consuming citrus. I'm trying to increase your awareness. I'm trying to have you have more knowledge. But if you have somebody that you know has a chronic breathing problem and they have orange juice and oranges and grapefruits constantly, my recommendation for one month is cut back on the citrus and see how your body responds. You may be pleasantly surprised that your breathing will improve. You may want to consider cutting back on your sugar because your breathing will improve. Your goal is not to have to wear sunglasses. Now, I don't have anything against sunglasses. This is the body signal to me that your body's not functioning optimally. So what will also help your lungs is drinking water. Water is the great purifier. So water, at least a quart of water every day. One last thought that I see with people who have chronic lung and bronchitis issues. This is going to be news for some of you. Lack of vitamin D. Vitamin D, delta, low D. I've had patients come into our office, have chronic bronchitis and breathing problems, and when we did a blood test to them to determine their vitamin D level, the normal vitamin D that I like to see is a number between 40 and 50. But we have individuals come in, their vitamin D level is less than 9 or 10, and then we supplement them accordingly. We might suggest anywhere from two to 4,000 units of vitamin D per day. Always talk to your primary health care provider beforehand. I think if you have a chronic lung problem, you will be pleasantly surprised by taking vitamin D for some of you. Last thought, calcium. Calcium also on an empty stomach before you go to bed at night will help the same thing that the vitamin D D does, getting that calcium into your body helps glue those cell membranes together so you're not going to have irritation. So drink water, cut back on your sugar, be aware of the amount of citrus that you're putting in your body, lay back on that ball, stand up straight, watch how you're using your smart tools. My name is Dr. Bob DiMaria. I am the Drugless Doctor. Thank you for watching us once again on this fine episode of Doctor to Doctor. We're here to make a difference in your life. Drink water, I promise you, you'll be glad you did.